Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink or Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So Libra, this is going to be your May 2021 reading. First, I'm going to pull the overall energy for you guys. And keep in mind too that this is very general, so it may not resonate with everyone. There's like no way that it could resonate with everyone that's watching. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am currently having a special, which is $22 here for um an energy reading or a current energy reading or this could also be modified into like a career or finances reading if you need insight on that it's 22 dollars um new love if if you're single and you're trying to figure out um or you know you're just wanting insight on new love that could be coming your way 22 dollars special person or a specific person love reading is if you're dealing with someone and you're trying to figure out like what's going on um in the connection so that's $22 as well. And you can look in the description box below for my information on how to book a reading. Um, copy and paste in my email would be like the best way to reach me now. For some reason, the website link only works for certain people. I'm not, I'm not really sure what's going on. It could definitely be like the browser, the different type of browsers people use. But the website does work. Um, so you can just use my email, copy and paste it, and I will respond back. So let's get the overall energy for Libra. What's the overall energy for Libra for May 2021? Wow, so we got happiness that came out here. So happiness is the overall energy. So that's really good, Libra. All right, so let's see what the card is saying. What message do you see for Libra for May 2021? Um, what message do you see for Libra for May 2021? Okay, so this King of Pentacles wanted to pop out here. So yeah, for some of you guys, I do see where there could definitely be, like finances look good here, career, work, however you make money. It looks really good here. Um, also to like material gain, um, property here with the King of Pentacles business is booming. Yeah. King of Pentacles. So yeah. Or you could be connected to a earth sign here, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. What message is you for a Libra for May 2021? What message is you for Libra? Okay. So we have the Nine of Swords that came out here. So there could definitely be some anxiety here, some worry um, surrounding a a King of Pentacles here, an Earth sign. So this could be you, Libra, or the other person here. But someone's definitely um, worried here, experiencing anxiety about a certain situation here. So let's see. What message is you for a Libra? For May 2021. Yeah, so this could be about someone's like work here as well. Because this Eight of Pentacles wanted to pop out here. So we got Eight of Pentacles here. So this could be about someone's work here. What message is you for Libra? Uh-oh. Okay, so there could be some type of offer here as well. Some of you guys are getting some type of message here or communication. So you could be the one giving an offer, Libra, or receiving one. So this could definitely be some type of work offer coming in for someone. But I do feel like someone received some type of message here. Or like some good news coming in. It's like something that you could be worried about. What message is you have for Libra? Uh -oh. For May 2021? What message is you for Libra? Someone could be done with a Taurus. Okay, so yeah, justice came out here. So yeah, know that things are going to bounce out here. Something's going to go in your favor. <coughs> Excuse me, Libra. You're getting some type of offer. Yeah. So we got the Six of Pentacles that came in here. Now, I do feel like, too, if this is romantic, you could have been dealing with an earth sign. I feel like it could have been a Taurus for someone. But I do feel like maybe someone's going to be um, giving, like someone's working on coming in with some type of offer. 
Because whatever the situation is, it has someone like down here with this five of cups coming in. Somebody wants to balance some things out here. What message is there for Libra? For May 2021. So we have the four of pentacles that came out here. So I do feel like if this is, if this is romantic, y'all, someone's still holding on to the other person. And we do have the nine of wands that came out here. So yeah, someone's definitely, um, someone's kind of like defensive here about, I feel like they're kind of scared here or like worried. Whoever is in this like nine of swords energy. Give me one more here for Libra. For May 2021. Yeah, there was some type of conflict here. We got the five of wands that came out. There's definitely some type of conflict here in regards to our offer coming in. And then we got the five of swords that came out here as well. Some of you guys are needing to use your intuition here about um, a person here or a situation where I feel like maybe somebody's wanting to um, give and receive here. But then it's almost too like so the way it's showing like maybe someone's being kind of like stingy uh, <laughs> for whoever that is resonating for. So it's causing some type of conflict, but I do feel like maybe you cut someone off here too, Libra. With this five of swords. Clarify this nine of swords, please. Okay, so this could definitely be about reuniting here with someone too. This could this could definitely be like some type of reunion with this three of cups. Someone's like worried about it. Clarify this knight of pentacles. Yeah, so we got the ten of swords that came out here. So yeah, there could have been some type of ending here with a person. I feel like it's an herb sign. Clarify justice. Yeah, you're needing to use your intuition here, the Libra. So we got the high priestess that came in here and it's coming in with justice, which is like, you know, the card for Libra. So whatever type of decision that you're needing to make here, I feel like if you listen to your intuition, um, Libra, whatever it's telling you, it could be telling you yes, no, because, you know, it could be different for, um, for different people, like a different situation for different people. If you listen to your intuition here, you're going to be happy. There's going to be like a happy outcome. Clarify the six of pentacles. Yeah, so we have the moon card that came out here. So yeah, use your intuition here about um, some type of like if someone's trying to give you something here, use your intuition here about it. Clarify this four of pentacles. Clarify this four of pentacles here for Libra. So we got a six of wands that came out here. So for some of you guys, I do feel like someone definitely, someone could definitely have like control issues here as well. Clarify the six, I mean the five of wands here. Yes, yeah, so we have the world card that came out here. I do feel like a cycle here has, um, has ended for someone. There could have definitely been some type of deception here. Or it's like maybe someone's not being honest. With the Seven of Swords coming out at the bottom of the deck here. I'm going to use my Kipper deck real quick. To see what comes up. Because I feel like it's this King of Pentacles. Whoever this is for. Clarify this um, King of Pentacles here. Because I feel like if someone just keeps to themselves here. It's like maybe someone's not really wanting to give and receive with someone. Because it does show where there could definitely be some deception here. With the moon card and your intuition could be telling you this Libra. There's like heavy um 
it's like you need to you um use your intuition here about giving and receiving with someone. So I feel like if someone keeps to themselves, it's like they win with the six of wands coming out. And I do see where there's like the end to, end to some type of conflict here as well. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is sending a message to someone. So he's they're communicating. Clarify this King of Pentacles here. Yeah, family room. This could have been someone that someone was like married to, or maybe this is the um this could be about the father or mother or someone's child here. But it's definitely like a family situation here. Where someone wants to have a conversation. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, false person. I had a feeling that was gonna come out. That's why I use that Kipper deck, this Kipper deck, y'all. Because it'd be letting you know like the um the genders. So yeah, false person. This person is um there's like deception here surrounding a reunion here, and someone wanting to give back into like a connection here or someone wants to give Libra or something basically clarify this knight of pentacles because this could definitely be like a work offer to y'all clarify this knight of pentacles yeah someone's thinking about coming in with some type of offer it could have been someone that you had ending with uh -oh. it got something to do with money too y'all Clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's about a uh, partnership here. Clarify the Seven of Swords. So we got a child. So this could definitely be about a child here, y'all. With this um child card coming out with the Seven of Swords. It's like maybe someone, someone that you have a child with. Could be like a little girl. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords here. Yeah, lovers. So yeah, it's about a partnership here or someone that you were intimate with. Or someone that you were in a relationship with. So yeah, I'm going to leave it right... Oh no, actually, sorry y'all. I'm about to close out the reading hour early i was gonna pull some cards some oracle cards give me one here for libra yeah romance that came out so this is like a romantic situation here give me one here for libra not the right time so yeah i feel like it's like a no here but i can't make no decisions for people y'all this is what's coming out so yeah it says not the right time here and I feel like your intuition could be telling you that, Libra. Yeah, reconsider. Someone definitely needs to reconsider some type of reunion or like an offer from someone. Give me one more here for Libra. What should Libra do? What should Libra do? What should Libra do? What should Libra do? Yeah, there's something better. Um, if this is like romantic, y'all, you could definitely be about to meet someone within the next few weeks. It, it, well, it's definitely romantic, sorry. But there's something better here for someone or there's, a, you know, someone else that's better. Someone definitely needs to reconsider a person here. And I feel like, because happiness came out as an overall energy, y'all. And I feel like if someone like just keeps to themselves with that four of pentacles, um, they're going to be like, you are coming out victorious here. And I feel like someone closed out a cycle here or some type of conflict as well with a person. Give me one more here for Libra. Give me one more here. So I feel like someone too has been asking their angels about how to let go of something. 
it's like you've been asking for a higher power. I mean, you've been asking a higher power on how you can let go of something. And I feel like this is the, um, this, this could definitely be the sign here to let go. Cause it's there, there's something better here for you. Cause someone's showing up here as a false person. Like it's a no, um, for this masculine energy. So I'm going to leave the reading right here, y'all. I really hope that it resonates with someone. Of course, you guys can leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up because it helps more people see my content. And it just helps with my analytics, basically, like on the channel. Because the numbers aren't adding up. And I would like for the numbers to add up make sense. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe as well.